Hello everybody, my name is Pythi GB and welcome back to another episode of my UHC Minecraft playthrough. This is the fourth episode and something that's been bugging me is the fact that I heard some zombie noises right here. Now I imagine there's going to be a cave system behind this, so uh, yeah, we're going to try and find it. It doesn't seem to be that far away from the staircase either, so what we're going to do is we are very basically going to do this, yeah? We're going to see if we can find this damn cave system. Hopefully it is a cave system and not just a little crappy cave. I'm just trying to locate where it is. Possibly down this way? I mean, it sounded pretty, pretty close. Hmm. Where are you going to be, Sunshine? Hmm. It sounds near. Potentially down this way? Actually, it sounds sort of higher up. Okay, uh, maybe if we try this way, perhaps. If we just go back up over here this way. Come on, you're around here somewhere. Only I could locate you. Oh. Can you guys remember way back in the day when the uh, when the mobs used to have these little numbers above their head? And you could use that to your advantage to try and find cave systems. <laughs> it was a bit of a cheaty way of doing it, but it was still pretty useful for finding guys. Oh, hello. Uh, Alright, what's going on around here? We found the ocean, which is odd. Huh. Okay, let's just have a bit of a peek around. There must be a zombie around here somewhere. That is so weird. I cannot for the life of me find him. Come on. In which case you have to be this way. <laughs> There's no other answer to it, man. This blooming... Oh, there we go. This mystery has just been solved. We found the location of the zombie, hopefully. Uh, what's down there? Not a great deal. Ah, there you are, you little bugger. Hello. Hi. I'm going to kill you. There you go, buddy. <laughs> That's what you get. Right, okay. Uh, is there anything else around here? Eh, doesn't look like it, does it? It's a pretty pretty disappointing cave system, if I'm, uh, if I'm entirely honest. God damn it. <laughs> As we think if we come across a whole cave system with, like, dungeons and many, many bits of iron, and actually there's a fair amount of iron right here. Holy crap. This is pretty cool, actually. Right, okay. So, other than that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to he be heading back downwards. And uh, we're going to be trying to find some diamonds. Because, obviously, getting diamond armor and uh, getting ourselves all tooled up and whatnot is going to be something that we're going to need to do. So, obviously, to try and take the least amount of damage before we try to take down the Ender Dragon, I guess. So, yeah. That's a thing that needs to be done. But, yeah, that's that pretty much done, which is quite kind of cool. So, let's go ahead and put that in there. Yeah, I'm going to make a bit of wood and put a bit of wood in there as well, so it does all nine bits. And there you go, friendo. All right, we need to get some gold. We need to get some diamonds. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. We've got uh, three more bits of cooked salmon after this, which is cool. So we're pretty okay on food. We might need to do a bit of a fishing session today. Who knows? We might even get an enchanted bow. That has happened in the before to me. So that would be very, very cool indeed. Uh, let me just take the light level of these places. Uh, yeah. Seems normal. All right. Hello. Good day. Good day. Anybody there? No? It doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Huh? All right. Let's just, let's roll out, I guess. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, I thought the best way of doing this would be to go strip mining. So, I guess we can have a little bit of a chat while we're doing this. Hopefully, we can find some diamonds along the way, because obviously, not, you know, watching this kind of stuff on camera isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, nor do I really enjoy doing strip mining on camera, because uh, it's way too dependent on luck. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about my uh, my sleeping schedule. Yes, talking with Python GB sleeping schedules. And uh, actually, that's something I've been having a bit of uh, trouble in my life with recently, uh, you know, sleeping schedules, because I feel like my sleeping schedule has been really, really messed up recently. And, uh, well, I feel like I've fixed it to a certain extent, but at the same time, I'm still trying to figure out how my body works in the way of sleep, because I want to try and find sort of the optimal sleeping pattern, and by doing that, I'll be able to balance, you know, sleep, and then also, you know, productivity in terms of making videos, so... The, the reason why my sleep schedule has been broken is because, uh, I've <laughs> the weird thing is, I feel like my body clock is, like, configured for planets other than Earth, or a planet that has a longer day-night cycle, because, I don't know, it, it's just really, really strange. Oh, okay, and there goes that pickaxe. But yeah, on one night I found myself going to bed at four in the morning, and the reason why that happened is because I was 
pretty much all up all night doing a whole bunch of editing work and uh, it, it was a case of if I didn't do it then because I was feeling most inspired at that point I probably wouldn't do it at all or probably not to the sort of same standard if you get what I mean uh, that quick that video in question would be the UHC highlights video put out a little while ago and I stayed up until 4 a.m. just to get that video sort of uh, you know up to a stage where I could render it and leave that overnight while I sleep so on the next morning I woke up at like half 12 in the afternoon I was like oh my god God, I've wasted the entire morning sleeping. And uh, from there on in, things just went downhill because uh, I thought that the way to reset my sleep schedule would be to do something along the lines of an all-nighter. Now, normally, well, way back in the day, doing an all-nighter for me would be the way to reset my sleep schedule. And it's half worked, okay? This time it half worked. I'm 20 years old. I used to be able to do all-nighters, like, without fail and without feeling too bad when I was, like, uh, 17 or 18 years old. But I'm 20 now, and I, ju I just can't do them. I can't do them. So I managed to survive the entire night, which is pretty okay, you know. Uh, I, I was, you know, I was fairly okay throughout the morning, the following morning after the all-nighter, but... Up a, well, from about half nine in the morning onwards, the blooming fatigue that you normally get from doing an all-nighter just hit me like a ton of bricks. It really was bad. And uh, my body was just shutting down. It was just like, do you know what? I need to sleep. So that's what I did. And I slept for an hour from about 11 a.m. to sort of 12 midday. And uh, when I woke up from that little mini nap, I was still feeling pretty terrible. So, you know, I, I was up and about trying to do some things, trying to keep myself busy. But at the end of the day, my body just wasn't having it so I found myself going back to bed at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon for like a three hour nap and I got up at 4 p.m. in the afternoon I was just like yeah this is uh, th this is pretty bad now so I actually decided on that day that I would go to bed at 11 p.m. and by doing that uh, I managed to wake up today which was the day at the time of me recording this that would be today I don't know I don't know how to, yes, trying to explain time in terms of YouTube <laughs> when you schedule your videos is like a really difficult thing to do, but I woke up this morning at, at uh, 7am, which is, you know, pretty respectable time to wake up, so I was thinking, okay, that's pretty cool, I think I've fixed my sleep schedule, but now... I need to try and figure out if that's the way I want to go. Maybe I could sort of shift it forward, go to bed at like midnight and wake up at 8. Because the reason why I tend to go to bed pretty late is because I'm normally talking to my YouTuber friends from across the pond. You know, in America and uh, Canada and all, like, all those kind of places where, you know, the hours are quite a fair way behind, you know, the UK. So I find myself staying up, you know, just to talk to them and uh, stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is potentially go to bed at midnight and trying to wake up at 8am. So I'm hoping that that would do the job in terms of fixing my sleep schedule because if not then I don't know man I don't know what else I could really try because I uh, at the end of the day I really don't want to find myself having to use like sleep drugs or anything like that because I just don't want to do that I want to I want to stay sort of all natural if you get what I mean but yeah sleeping schedules ladies and gentlemen for a youtuber can be a bit of a pain in the ass but you know what if I manage to get it all sorted if I manage to figure out how my body works in the way of sleep then uh do you know what? We're going to be good to go, aren't we? And then in terms of YouTube, I'll be good to go there as well. So I'll be all nice and awake, you know, all nice and enthusiastic to get on with videos. And we have some diamonds here, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and uh, let's mine these little babies, shall we? Oh, you think you're so smart, don't you? You think you're so smart, don't you, Minecraft? Oh, dear. How much is that? Four? Right, okay. So that's pretty cool. We can get ourselves a diamond pickaxe, at least, which is all right. Um, hmm. Getting five would have been better, though. The reason why I want five is for a pickaxe and then a uh, uh, an enchanting table, because that'd be very, very cool indeed. You know, start getting ourselves some uh, enchanting stuffs done. Yes, but mm, I really want to try and find some more diamonds. Should I just have a bit more of a dig around this, see if I can't find some more? I don't know. You sometimes find some more. I don't think we're going to find any, though. Unless I'm very, very lucky indeed. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, is it? <laughs> I think that was the vein. The vein as it was. Alright, I mean, I guess we didn't do too bad. We've got four diamonds, which is pretty cool. I'm okay with that. Okay, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna head back to where we were, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a strip mine in a different direction, because we found this sort of, sort of lava pool here, which I guess is kind of alright. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna go back in here, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna start another strip mine in, uh, in this direction, and hopefully what we could do is find a little bit more in the way of diamonds, and hopefully not lava, because, uh, yeah, I don't really need lava. I don't think I'm going to use lava, really, for anything other than obsidian. 
But then again, you know, lava naturally generates, so we're all pretty good to go from there. Right, I'll tell you guys, I'm going to do this uh, little thing here in the form of a mining montage, and uh, hopefully I shall meet you guys back. Hopefully, but I'll find some diamonds. See you guys in a minute. Speckly wax, friendos. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, how much have we got this time? That is up to, what is it? We're up to six now, so seven and eight. Now, I have a sneaky feeling there might be a dungeon sort of linking off to this place. Because I am hearing more and more zombies the longer I stay in the strip mine. So, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and dig towards it in an attempt to try and find what is hopefully a dungeon, because if you find a dungeon, there may be enchanted books inside of it. And that would be very, very cool, of course, because, uh, you know, we just need an anvil at that point. Right. Okay. Right, it literally sounds like it's right above me. Oh god, he's right there! Uh, hi? Oh, good day. Ah, ah, careful! Don't take your first bit of damage. Oh god, good lord! Holy! The hell did he come from? Alright, uh, well, the good news is we found the cave, but the bad news is I'm kind of scared to go out. Hello? What is that? Ah! Don't you try it on with me, sunshine! You little son of a gun. Alright, that was, that was two creepers. Ah, ah! I'm so scared, there could be any number of things around here. If anything could drop on top of me at this point. Alright, here we go. Are we gonna rambo it? Dun 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 dun. Alright. Alright. Okay. Looking okay. Just got a bunch of creepers around here. Which I guess is okay. I would like to knock him back. There we go. Hadouken! Hadouken! Oh, he's dead. Alright, sweet. Um, Good day. Oh, there's plenty of gold around, which I guess is kind of cool. Hello! Look at you in there! He thinks he's so funny. Come on, buddy. What are you, a comedian? I mean, look at you. You got a green face, so... I don't know. You could be comparable to Shrek. Are you Shrek? I'm pretty sure all zombies in Minecraft are in fact Shrek. Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, myth busted right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, okay, doesn't seem to be any dungeons around, which is kind of disappointing. Although, you know, we never know, there might be something over here. I don't know, man. I would like to try and light up as many caves as I possibly can, though. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, huh, there appears to be water above there. Interesting. Right. Anything around here? Ooh, is this an eight vein? Oh, it's not an 8 vein. Dang it, man. Right, I'm hoping this will bring us up to enough gold to the point where, it can, where we can make a golden apple, potentially. Five. Dang it, we need one more bit. Minecraft, are you trolling me right now? What the heck? All right, I mean, why not? Just give me stupid amounts of stuff. All right, give me... The, there we go, fantastic. All right, let's roll through this place and see if we can find some cool things. Um, Plenty of water about. That's kind of annoying, actually. Ah, uh, going through water without depth strider is so annoying. It really is. Right, okay, uh, anything over this way? Potentially some gold? That'd be the best thing to have right now. Because, you know, gold is very, very useful in all UHC series. Okay. Good day. Is this it? Are we at the end? It's still going. What the? I can see the night sky! That is not right. Oh. Yeah, I thought it wasn't right. <laughs> There's no- Ah! Ah! Skelly! 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 Does Skelly see me? Skelly? Hey, Skelly McBuck! Come over here, you damn jerk! Oh, 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 oh god. Okay, right. We're gonna do the old uh, tickle the toes routine. Alright, here we go. Ah! Must kill skeleton. Skeleton must die. Alright. Ooh! <laughs> A little helmet right there. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. I don't know, might be useful later down the line somewhere. Okay, that was one skeleton. Is that the only skeleton there is? I'm kind of hoping there is, because skeletons are like the bane of UHCs. Well, that and uh, witches, of course. Witches are very, very bad as well. Right, okay, um... Hmm, it's going down. Oh, there's a there's an enderman. Endermen are actually very, very good. We need to try and kill one. In fact, we need to... Well, we need to kill many, let's be honest. Okay, boom. Boom. 
Uh, we're gonna make ourselves a little a uh, little Enderman killing shelter. So here's what you do: you make him mad, and then you just do this. Oh, there we go. Oh, he didn't drop his balls. God damn it! <laughs> you could always drop your balls, buddy. That'd be great. And then I could use it for like an end portal or something. That'd be fantastic. But no, you you don't drop your balls. <laughs> Stupid Enderman. What is with those guys? What is with those guys? All I want to do is grab the balls and they won't give me them. Yes, I know you guys are giggling like schoolgirls right now, but, uh, yeah. Alright, what's go- Ooh, a slime! That's pretty interesting. There's a slime- What the hell? The slime a skeleton- Wait, is he coming up? Can he come up? Oh, well, that slime's dead. <laughs> I just heard that unmistakable pound sound. Oh, God. You poor thing. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, you poor little slime right there. God diggity. Right, okay. Ah! He's right there. So here's the plan. Can you come up? How about now? Ah! Wait. Is he walking away? What the hell? That guy's a little wuss. Oh, there's gold over there. Ah! Oh, hello. Hi, how you doing, buddy? So here's the pl Oh, God, there's two two over there. All right. Now we've got the gang. The gang's all here, as they say. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to let them come up so I can kill them very, very quickly. There we go. And we are going to... Ah, oh, there's another one. God diggity. Minecraft, what are you doing, bro? What the... 2.41. That's our local difficulty right now. There's still... Oh, George the Bat is dead. God damn it. All right. Duh. Okay. Is it time to block, block, block a room? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to block this place. <laughs> yeah, I never know more of that. No more of that. Right, any diamonds? No, of course not. Minecraft is mean to us. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how Minecraft rolls. We don't do giving me nice things naturally. I have to go strip mining for it. Which is like the worst kind of content. Right. Oh, wow. I take that back entirely. <laughs> Alright, we found ourselves a pretty decent sized cave system. But do you know what? We're going to explore that in the next episode, my friends. Before we end off... <gasps> There's diamonds in there! Wow, okay. I really do take back ent entirely everything I said right there. Oh, what the heck? Alright, I mean... Yeah, that's kind of cool. We got diamonds in there, but at the same time, got a bunch of mobs. Ah, oh, he's all right. Hey, come back here! Come back here, Skelly, so I can kill you. Come back here, Skelly, Skelly. <laughs> the Skelly's just like, no, you're not gonna tickle my toes. God damn it, man! Why are you doing this to me, bro? I really want to get in there so I can get the diamonds. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna end the episode there. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to leave a like right and I would much appreciate it. And of course, you guys can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos. I'll out, I'll bring you guys back just as we're about to uh, go ahead and take that, take down that skeleton. Hopefully, get those diamonds and then explore the rest of the caves. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support and stare into this cobblestone. Wahaha! <laughs> see you guys later.